What is the term? Oh, sorry. What is the sum of the first four terms of the arithmet uh, arithmetic sequence in which the sixth term is? Oops, I want the eraser. The sixth term is eight, and the tenth term is thirteen. Okay, now note this is a number 58 uh, in the test. It's towards the end, so it's going to take a bit of, uh, if it's, if it's either it's going to be tricky or it's going to take a bit of work. Um, in this case, it's just going to take a bit of work. Okay, so we've got the sixth term. Uh, sixth term and the tenth term, so I'm going to make some spaces here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, let me change to my pen here. So. This is the sixth term, is eight, and the tenth term is thirteen. So we know that it's an arithmetic sequence, uh, meaning it's going to be they're equally distributed. The distance between the sixth and the seventh are going to be the same, and the seventh and the eighth, and the eighth and the ninth, and the ninth and the tenth. Okay, so what do we know? We know the difference between them is 5, and it has to be evenly distributed, 1, 2, 3, 4, between 4 groups here. So 5 divided by 4 is 1.25. So we know the next number up would have to be uh, 8 plus 1.25 would be 9.25. But we don't care about these numbers. We need to know they're asking for the sum of the first four terms. So we're going to have to go backwards. OK, I'm going to make the, go back over here. I don't have much room over here. So I'm going to make the fifth term here, the fourth term here, the third term here, the second term here, and the first term here. OK, so we're going backwards now. So we know it has to be a difference of 1.25, so we're going to subtract 1.25 from 8. And please, on this, uh, use a calculator. Uh, it would be such a pity to lose points just because you did something in your head incorrectly when you're allowed a calculator uh, on the ACT. Okay, so one back, the fifth one would be 6.75 minus 1.25. Again, gives us 5.5. Use your calculator. Minus 1.25 again, so that gives us 4.25. Minus 1.25 from this gives us 3. And subtract 1.25 again is 1.75. OK done the, the drudge work. Now we just have to do one last thing. What's it asking for? Be careful. The sum of the first four terms. So we just need to add these guys together. Don't make the mistake of adding the fifth one. When you add them all together, using your calculator, of course, you get 14.5 G.